Welcome back to another video on the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. So apparently now the scythe is able to be unlocked and used in Warzone. I'm not entirely sure when they actually added this in. They probably added it in the Thursday update because I had no idea until I hopped on today. But I was actually lucky enough to get this weapon unlocked when they released it on Black Ops Cold War on accident. And then about an hour and a half later, they removed it from the game entirely. And I'm actually going to check real quick when I made that video. That video was made on June 6th. Today it's August the 6th. So that's two months on the dot. But since I already had this weapon unlocked on Cold War two months ago, it was was automatically unlocked for me on this account so i ended up going on my other account to see if i was able to unlock it just to make sure it wasn't a fluke and i just was able to use it because i unlocked it early and the challenge actually popped up for the scythe but unfortunately the challenge is going to be extremely difficult for you guys to complete in warzone it's extremely easy to get done in cold war multiplayer because all you have to do is get two kills in 15 different matches while dead silence or ninja is active but dead silence is so random and rare to actually get in warzone now that i feel like it's going to be very situational and extremely lucky to actually get that challenge done and the fact that you have to do that in 15 different matches is going to be very frustrating honestly i would just go ahead and wait until the scythe officially releases which is going to be more than likely on the 12th at least that's what the data miners and the leakers are actually saying so when it officially releases we'll have the challenge on cold war you could easily hop on there get the challenges done and knocked out or you can just go ahead and purchase the bundle when it drops in the store and you have to do that challenge with the melee weapon sorry i didn't actually add that in there but you have to actually get the two kills while using a melee weapon so just wait till it releases go play some cold war i believe it's like insta kills is what you have to get and you have to get a lot of kills while an insta kill is popped in zombies it's super easy to get done just wait till it releases get it knocked out and then you can actually use it and have fun instead of being frustrated trying to get the challenge done but anyways i went ahead and put on the asriel skin for ghost i'm excited to actually hop into a game and mess around with the site today i'm assuming it's going to be a three hit kill so it might be a bad time but oh well i'm just happy to be able to use it in game if it's a two hit kill that's definitely going to be a plus if you drop me a like on today's video i'd really appreciate it let's see if we can hit 4500 likes also if you are new around here you end up enjoying the content i'd really appreciate if you could also drop me a sub and without further ado let's go ahead and hop into a game and check out the scythe i don't know i'm just getting the weird feeling that this weapon is not going to be good it's gonna be a three hit kill and i'm gonna be in for a terrible time but i am really hoping that it is a two hit kill and it's gonna be a lot of fun but i always just expect the worst out of warzone at this point and i think it's healthy to do that expect the worst and then be excited whenever something is better than what you expect it to be instead of expecting the best and then being disappointed every single time i don't know it's just something i've become accustomed to at this point there is a couple bounties in storage town i don't think anybody really goes to storage town it's pretty much a dead poi at this point which is kind of crazy because this poi was really popping in verdansk i think i'm just gonna hover over here get the loadout going and then uh oh wait there is a guy here he's probably going for this bounty isn't he yeah i'm just gonna wait for the loadie to come in then we'll figure out what we're gonna do for a bounty oh uh, i'm assuming this guy's loadie is gonna be on mine as well there could be a different person entirely there we go we got the scythe let's go and inspect this thing real quick okay so it has the same inspect as cold war yep you just flick it not that i was expecting it to be any different than the one we had in cold war but i don't know i just wanted to check it just to make sure you never know sometimes all right let's hop this redeploy oh there's a guy right here I'm gonna see what's up oh there he is right there Nope. Oh god, that was terrible. Nope. What? Nope. You're, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, dude. I was about to lose it. If I would have lost that fight, dude, I probably would have got off the game, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. There's a guy in that building or on that hill, just over there in that area. He knows I'm under him. All right, let's see. It's a two hit. I'm not sure if he was 100% three plates, but I'm pretty sure it's a two hit. I'm not sure where this other person is in this area. Oh God, that just scared the crap out of me. I think he's gonna go up top. I, I highly doubt he's gonna challenge. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think he's gonna challenge down low. Oh yeah, bro. I don't know what? how I feel. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this animation. Let's uh snag us up a self res just to be safe here. Uh is there still bounties over here? Yep, there's one in storage town. Let's just head for it. But I'm actually happy that this weapon's a two-hit kill. I was expecting the worst, 
but also the animation is still kind of bad feels like there's a little bit of a delay also whenever you first swing it I don't know what's going on with that but let's go hop this redeploy and uh go for the person we got a bounty on oh this actually this guy's coming in pretty close here let's see if i can get a idea of where he is oh he's beside the vehicle oof yeah he's hopping in the vehicle yeah he's not playing any games with me bro it might be a good idea for us to kind of like chalk this fight with this guy and just not really go for him because he's got a vehicle i don't really have anything to combat the fact that he has one i just don't really feel like it's all oh, self res i just don't really feel like it's worth taking the risk of dying to this guy we'll just hit this again and then we'll see where a bounty is and then and once this one's over we'll we'll go for it All right, let's take this. What build it? Oh, he's in this building. He, I think he's roof. He's definitely roof. I couldn't. Oh, okay. Nope. No. Oh my. Dude, that could have been real bad. I wanted to at least get one execution going with this Dude, operator. You're absolute... Nope. You're just mad, bro. It's okay. I kind of choked there. Sometimes whenever I pull my shoot, like it, it does the whole shoot animation again and cucks. I don't know what that's about and why it happens so much, but it happens to me like every time I try to pull my shoot in situations. There actually might be some action in this back area over here. Let me get a UAV real quick to see what's up. Bruh. I just, wow. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, it is popping over here. Oh, yeah. Nope. That is unfortunate, dude. Is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. Adam. Oh, it's a one hit while they're down, too. Well, it's definitely good to know that this weapon's a one hit while players are down. I don't know if they intentionally designed it like that, but hey, I'm happy with it. All right, so this guy's going to be in this building here. Oh, nope. He moved houses. He went to this house. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, wait, it is a three hit. I don't What was that? Why was I getting two hits before and now a three hit? I don't know, man. Something weird is going on with this weapon. That really just didn't seem right. Let's go for that. Oh, wait. Why did it show up as a... Oh, it's because the other one's beside it. I see. Oh, nice. Big game. Okay, he's in the big building. Interesting. I don't see him on roof. Nope. What? Nope. What? Nope. Damn, this guy's good, bro. Ah, uh, yeah, this guy's good, bro. He's good. Good shit, dude. He got me. I choked my stuns. want it let's go baby let's go <laughs> oh man we just got so freaking lucky i'm so surprised i've actually been making it out of the gulag lately i mean we have 8400 in cash there's that there's also that that we could go for in order to get us enough cash but that's where that other guy was i feel like maybe this one in storage town might be best i don't think we can actually wait until our loadout comes in i'm just gonna have to take the risk of going for this real quick
There's somebody in there. Nah, bro, I am out. I am completely out of there. Screw that. There was somebody in that building somewhere. Nah, bro, that was kind of terrifying. I walked in and I heard footsteps. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Um, see, that's the type of shit that we just don't talk about. I gotta somehow make it to this buy station without dying. Somebody just popped a UAV. They might actually be camping in here. Yep. I knew it. All right, we're gonna run one more game with this scythe and just see how it goes. I'm not really pressed to get a win with it today or anything. That first game was definitely a little weird. Like in some, most situations, it was a two hit kill. But then in that one situation, it was a three hit, which didn't make any sense. We found out that players that are downed are actually a one hit kill with it, which is a great thing. So you don't have to sit there and melee them because the animation is really slow. But when it comes to the animation, I really don't understand why it's the way that it is. It's very funky, very weird and unorthodox to use. For some reason, every time they poured over a Cold War weapon, it just seems so buggy and just not fluid. Obviously, the main game of Cold War was made on a different engine than what Modern Warfare was made on, which is the engine that they use for Warzone, which definitely contributes to it being so buggy and just awkward to use hopefully we can have a good game this game and, and make it a little bit further there's a couple people fighting over here oh there's a guy over there Mark the target. that's not good oh god please don't see me buddy please don't see me please don't see me i see you but don't see me okay good There we go. That may have not been that guy's loadout. Could have been somebody else's. But your boy just needs some plates right now. I would really appreciate some plate action. There we go. That's always a struggle of mine, man. It's trying to get some plates going. There he is right there. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, okay, well. Uh, I will link it to you. I'm about, uh... Did you ask PK? I, I think I'm, like, 50k subs away from getting him with that. What's up, what's up? I'm your... Okay, I'm <laughs>